How you guys doing today? Mark Franks here. Guys, today I'm gonna to review this nine in one USB docking station. Or is it a USB hub? Or is it a USB adapter multi-port? Well, we're gonna get into that today, guys. I got this from a company, I got this on Amazon from a company called Basis. That's how you spell it here, but I'm not sure that's exactly how you pronounce it. So forgive me guys if I'm bruising your company's name, but this is a great little device. Uh, very effective, very convenient, very efficient, and also very portable. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. All right, so laptops nowadays, guys, they, they're getting smaller. All right, they're getting smaller and they're coming with less ports. Now, something along the lines of 2010 through 2015, you have laptops with every port. You have SD port, you have a RJ45 jack, Guys, you have multiple USB ports, but now these Ultrabook small laptop, laptop slash tablets, only have like one port now. It has like a USB-C port, that's, that's it. A lot of the Macs, that's all they have, a Thunderbolt port. So this is where a USB docking station comes into play. All right, basically guys, you can bring your laptop anywhere and pull this out and have a full working station. A full working station. This is a nine in one, uh, USB docking station. Now let's take a look at this here guys. Uh, now as far as the aesthetics, it's a very very decent looking device. All right, let's say it's kind of in the middle, in the middle of premium and kind of on the cheap side. I got this for like I believe $45 on Amazon, but it does look pretty decent. It looks slightly premium guys. Has a nice little, I would say a glowing gray silver kind of color. Uh, I do like uh, the USB has like a little slot here. You have a little slot that you can put a USB-C uh, cable in if you take it somewhere. So I do like that. I don't think a lot of these USB uh, docking stations have this. So you just put it like this here. And it's not that uh, it's not that big, big of a device. It's what maybe seven inches by one and a half length seven, the width one and a half. So it can easily fit any, any one of your bags, guys. It has 91 ports, so it has a different ports. And I'll talk about those in a second, but just briefly go over it. You have your USB-C power delivery. You have HDMI 1, HDMI 2. We have an SD port, we have a TF port. And on the back, we have two USB 3.0 ports and we have a USB 2.0 port, guys. And lastly, I almost forgot about it, we have an RJ45, basically an ethernet jack. So this is amazing. If you don't have that many ports on your new laptop, you just bought a new laptop and you need some ports, let's say if you, you do video editing, you need, you need an SD card reader and a lot of these laptops, they don't have them anymore. Or you're a gamer and you don't want any Wi-Fi, it's just too slow. All right, you need something very fast. You have an RJ45 jack here. Or right, you need more USB ports, all right? This will get it done for you guys. Now, the power delivery USB-C port, guys, this is a power delivery, which means you can plug a power cord in here and it'll actually, if you have this plugged into your laptop, it'll actually charge your laptop. Or you can do it vice versa. If you have like a cell phone, you have some devices, you can plug into this power delivery and it'll charge your devices there. So I do like that. Again, you have your two HDMI, um, two HDMI um, outlets here. Guys, so I've stuck this in my laptop. I have a, a Surface Pro uh, 7 Plus. I, I stuck both of them for a dual monitor setup. It worked just fine, no problems at all. So if you want a dual monitor setup, this is an easy way to get it done. Just make sure that your laptop is compatible. Go to the website, I'm sorry, go to Amazon, the Amazon site product page and make sure that your laptop is compatible. And I'll put some compatible laptops in the description below. But make sure also that your laptop has DP alt mode on it. Now, if you, if you, I'm gonna pull this up here. Now, this up here, if you're the first one, it has a, a lightning bolt, that's just a thunderbolt and it does support video throughput. The second one, It'll say P and that supports video output as well. Now the third one, the SS is super speed. That's not going to support video output. So you can't, you can't run dual monitors guys. 
Now, um, if you don't see any symbols on your USB-C uh, USB output on your laptop, then check the specs of your laptop to see if it supports video output, all right? Because the last thing I want you guys to do is to purchase this and your dual monitor setup doesn't work. But I'll also help you guys out. If you have any questions, just leave your comments below. All right, moving on, you have your SD card. So if you're doing, again, any video editing and you don't have an SD card reader, you have it right here. And you have even a smaller one, your TF card reader, you can stick it in here. Now, uh, I believe these, I'll put it on the, on the screen because I forgot what the speed of these are. They're not very fast at all, but it, it still transfers your files pretty, pretty well. All right, on the back, guys, we got the two USB 3.0 ports, guys. These, the transfer speed of both of these is going to be five gigabytes per second. That's moving. That can transfer your video files, transfer movie files pretty quickly, guys. Five megabytes per second is moving. Now, uh, the, this one right here, this is the old legacy USB 2.0 or uh, USB-A port. It can only transfer your files up to 480 megabytes per second. That's not very fast, but hey, if you don't have anything, I mean, it'll, it'll work. And then again, the RJ45, this is up to a gigabyte speed. So if you don't like latency, the Wi-Fi is a little bit too slow, you plug this right from your router right into, uh, right into this RJ45 jack here. Uh, and it, it, it also is gonna depend on your, uh, your ISP, what internet speeds are giving you, but it can support up to 1,000 gigabytes per second. Now guys, if you're a Mac user, you do have to do a couple things in the settings just to make sure that you're, um, that you're set up for the one gigabyte speed that's that guys um it's an incredible so like i said it's an incredible little device if you're on the go uh now it's not like like i was stating before it's not a usb hub it's more of a docking station so guys a usb hub is going to usually expand your usb ports it's going to be for like smaller devices you know like a a mouse or, or a keyboard something like that is this going to expand the usb ports on there now usb docking station that does a little bit more now this is not a huge docking station like the, like the ones that you usually see this is kind of a small mini docking station portable but it does support many different devices guys you got you got your you can you can support monitors i hooked my mic up to this and obviously you have the rj45 jack so it can it can it can support many different devices so that's what a docking station is. it supports more than just a usb all right now again if you have a lot of things plugged into this it can handle it by itself without some without a power delivery it can handle it but if you have a bunch of devices you have two monitors you got a bunch of devices in your usb 3.0 and usb 2.0 i would suggest and i'll also recommend that you plug it in uh, uh maybe a, a, a usb outlet from a power source a power adapter just plug it in here it's going to give this power all right so that's just to make this is uh, make sure it's running efficiently if your if your um, monitors start glitching or something make sure this device is just plugged into a, a power outlet all right but i've i've done it without no power in this just 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 this plug into my laptop and my two uh, hdmi cores in here which went to my monitors and had it playing no problem i had no glitching but if it does glitch just plug in a pl the power cord into your USB-C outlet here. Also guys, this supports 100 watts going in from a power adapter and it supports 85 watts going into your computer. All right, so it puts 100 watts going in and 85 watts going out into your computer. All right guys, so uh, that's pretty good. All right guys, that's it. That's the basis nine in one USB docking station guys. If you're in the neighborhood of getting some type of USB extender, I would definitely go for this docking station. And most you, uh, most new laptops will be compatible with this docking station. And you should have to worry about that. But again, check the compatibility list on the product page. But guys, if you have uh, a laptop that just needs more ports, so you travel out, you wanna make your laptop your workstation, I would definitely recommend this device here. Would definitely recommend this device. It's highly portable and also very, very, effective. But that's all I have for you guys today. I'll catch you in the next one.